Satnam, come to sit in a comfortable position. You could take the right heel in toward your groin and then just comfortably place the left heel in front of your right foot. Bring your knees outward, elongate through the spine. Begin to connect. Connect to your breath. Connect to your inner and outer being. And then roll the shoulders back. Open through the fourth chakra, the Anahata. And bring the spine perfectly over your hips. And then see where you're standing today. Inhale, bring your arms up. Over your head, touch your palms. And guide them down toward your chest. Thumbs pressing against the sternum. And then lightly close your eyes, roll them up. And engage your chin lock. So lock, meaning just the chin tucks forward, not the entire cervical spine, just the chin. And then I will tune us in with the Ani Adi Mantra and the Mangala Charin Mantra. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then inhale to begin. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Kreiname, Jugat Kreiname, Sat Kreiname, Siri Guru Devename. At Kreiname, Jugat Kreiname, Sat Kreiname, Siri Guru Devename. At Kreiname, Jugat Kreiname, Sat Kreiname, Siri Guru Devename. Hold your breath, pull up on the root lock. And then exhale. Set your intention. So this Kriya today is a quick Kriya to connect to your instinctual self. And that can be useful for any um, form of living. Useful throughout the day your studies, your projects, family matters, whatever is um, required, a little bit of self basic instinct. And then blink your eyes open. Okay, so we begin with um, butterfly pose. So you can just really bring the soles of your feet together and then have your thumbs across and then here elongate through your spine and then throughout the exercise you might find that your lower back is rounding a little bit that's perfectly fine but i like you to really um roll up on the eyes lock the eyes up and we begin with the breath of fire lightly moving the knees gently up and down and breathing here Sending that energy up the spine. So pull lightly in on the Mula Bandha and begin your breathing journey. So we're going real um, quick today. Each exercise only for one minute. So intended is uh, each exercise up to three minutes. But um, I like to introduce in doing this next year a few um, ways to integrate a quick kundalini yoga practice and 
anything that is up to one minute already will do the trick. Keep on breathing. So really letting that breath stimulating the flow of your energy. Good, and then inhale here. Pull up, hold your breath, pull in the Uddiyana uh, Bandha. Hold it, hold your breath, retain, and then let go here. And we're moving right in to a very comfortable position at first. Okay, so we will move maybe just watch me for once. So we will move in uh, Bhujang Asana in Cobra. So we're inhaling, taking the back, uh, back neck back, straightening the arms, and then lifting up, and then slowly coming down. So we will move together. Inhale, look up, straightening the arms, bring the entire body up to a plank, and then look forward, exhale. Inhale, look up, relax the shoulders, straighten your arms, make yourself one long line, and then lightly exhale. So one more time. Inhale, look up, straightening the arms, release the shoulders, lift up, look forward and lower down. Good. Inhale, come up, look back, feel how your um, area below your belly button is stretching, lift up and then exhale here, good. And then inhale, come back up. You can stretch out your back for once. And then we are coming to sit in the cow position. So we really um, working with the breath of fire here. I like you to take the Venus lock. So for the ladies, the left thumb goes over the right and we extending the pointer finger. And for the man, it's the opposite. And then I will show you from the side, we're gonna lock in the eyes, looking up and really breathing with the breath of fire. Pulling lightly up on the Mulat Bandha, keep on breathing, keep the spine elongated, sending that whole energy up, keep on breathing. Good, I have my little timer here so hold this position but keep the eyes locked in being very relaxed on your eyes around your mouth keep on breathing so really sending the energy up from your Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura breathing deeply A little bit longer keep that breath directing all the energy into your intestines and your inner hips and there we go pull up hold it pull the navel in pull the root lock the mulat bandha and the uddiyana bandha up hold your breath and then relax Okay, so for the next exercise, you see one minute is uh, really, really fast and I want to keep it at one minute today because the intention is really to make it available for busy people. So less talking in this kind of practice. So for the next one minute, we're going to really work with that energy here. We're going to strengthen the abdominal muscles and we're balancing the prana and apana. So your hands are nice and firm next to your body 
roll your shoulders up and back, shoulder blades are connected. And then we're lifting the legs up to begin. And I have my little timer here. And we begin, lower and lift, lower and lift. So you can really see where you're at. If it's necessary, if you do not have the abdominal strength yet, you can always just dip, dip the toes and keep on the breath of fire. And I'll perform one more time with modification so you can see how it looks like. And then inhale, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Pull on the uh, root block, good, and then release very slowly, lower the legs down, and then we're rolling on to our tummies. Okay, so from here, um, we're coming into a modified uh, boat pose. And with this exercise, I um, like to recommend for you to keep, keep the na natural extension of your neck. You will interlace your fingers behind and lift the entire body. And we're gonna use the breath of fire. If you do feel very comfortable, you can knock up. This is not available for me. So I will just leave my uh, tip of the nose looking down, eyes looking down, and begin my journey breathing with a breath of fire. Keep on breathing, this is 30 seconds, so we have 30 seconds more to go. Good, hold it, keep on breathing. If the breath of fire is too much for you, just breathe with a long deep breath and see if it's too much to hold the legs, you can lower them down and just lift a little bit more. So we're really going here and in working into that lower back, we're strengthening the upper body, we circulating the kundalini energy all the way up and we're almost done inhale here hold your breath one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then just have a little rest here good exhale take your neck to both sides and then inhale and set back in to a child's pose. Can you see me? Yes, you can still see me. Okay, and then we're gonna come on and relax. So I need to check the timer a little bit. So come on on and then we're gonna just relax here for a minute. Just as if you would do your Shavasana. Just take the time to integrate all the previous uh, exercises. So with the Kundalini Yoga practice, um, when we have time, of course, we want to go through an entire two hour practice, warming up with um, Pranayama and doing a Kriya and um, having a long relaxation pose and meditation, but in modern living, we just often don't have this time. So I highly recommend you to cultivate a little morning routine before you get out of bed. 
and then maybe a little bit of breathing as well do your tongue brush your warm water everything and then dedicate just a little bit of time um, with these short uh, kundalini practice exercises okay so with your next inhalation make yourself long and then exhale your knees toward your chest and we're just gonna roll up and down so this rock and roll integrating rise, raising the kundalini energy so children love this exercise sometimes for adults it comes a little um, more difficult good so breathe nicely long and deep or breath of fire or just match that uh, breath as you exhale you come up and as you go back you inhale always worth it and we have about 30 seconds good one minute goes so fast we probably already over time okay good 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 and then from here we're gonna slowly make our way down so just come up breathe in and then from here we will lie down nice and easy pulling on the Uddiyana Bandha and Mulat Bandha in and up and then come to lie down come to lie down good 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 okay coming into a shoulder stance so from here take it the arms legs up the arms behind your back and then see if you do not move your neck like I just did to look at you and then begin the breath of fire here oh just hold with a long deep breathing so just imagine then that candle is lit see where the wax is going to drop if your legs are not straight so keep your keep your eyes and your nose focused on your tippy toes don't look left or right so that can actually be very very dangerous so every time we are doing the um shoulder stands we really connecting or nourishing our thyroid and the parathyroid gland and if you like an indication breathing long and deep you can start off at one three seven minutes and then from here we're gonna make our journey into halasana into glow pose so you need to see how um, energized and strong your Manipura, your third chakra, your energy center is already so you might be able to move both legs back in one time and you can use your arms in the back to support your lower back and I have to move away my seat so that's live television or live uh, YouTube and then we are holding it here breathing deeply if this was not available you can always take one leg first and then let the other follow you can decide where to put your arms you can have your arms stretched out by your side or you can hold your lower back whatever feels good just keep your neck very still, chin is pressed into your chest and we're breathing nice and deep. Life nerve is stretched out, connecting to our breath. Okay, and then take one leg up, put your hands back and then with control, we're going to lower down one vertebra at a time. So you can make that movement very, very slow. You can close your eyes. Good. And then letting the tailbone tip the earth. And then very lightly, we're bringing the legs back. And exhale, pull the knees toward your chest. Good, take a few breaths here. 
of your chin and then we're rolling up so the last exercise of this quick kriya today sit in celibate bro so we opened up through the upper spine and so yeah we're sitting in between our heels and we're just gonna do one minute of the sat kriya so we're inhaling the arms up again interlacing into venus pose into venus uh, um, mudra i'm sorry i'm a bit uh, spaced out today and i can hear my kids screaming in the room <laughs> okay so we begin the sat nam kriya i'm sorry so i was distracted so back to the instinctual self um unlike the breath of fire where we are breathing in and then so we're breathing in and breathing out we are beginning the sat the journey inward and nam outward so i will demonstrate one time without the sweater here so it looks like so sat nam sat nam sat nam sat nam okay Let's begin. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. Roll your eyes in and up. Sat nam, 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 sat nam 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 sat Nam, sat, nam, and now inhale, squeeze up deeply, pull Mula Bandha in and up, elongate, 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 hold your breath, retain, finding the space, and then exhale, okay, so let me see, we have about 23 minutes, of practice let's just relax deeply letting all these quick exercises integrate taking some time here allowing gravity to pull you down feeling how these quick series of exercises that make that amazing kriya have changed you this morning afternoon or evening depending on where you are feeling how the energy is circulating around your physical body Feeling the impact the physical exercises made on your mental body, maybe on your soul body, and maybe realizing that there is no more positive or negative mind, there is just a neutral state of mind. 